Big Ninja in the building, Shamade John. What's poppy, y'all? Today I'm back again with another side collective shoe review video. Today we got the VV2 Zen Grays, size 10. So what I tell y'all, when the front looks like this, when the front on the box looks like this, if y'all don't know what somewhere in America means, that's what S-I-A and SIA stands for. S somewhere I N A America. When Dev, Devlin Carter, the founder of the brand, SIA Collective, the creator founder of the brand, whatever he has a box like this that flip open like that, you already know he put some heat in there. So this is the shoe. This is the VV2. Zen Graves. So I've been sitting on these for a minute. I got these around the same time that I got the Kobe's. I am going to put a card up somewhere right here. It's going to be right here. And it's going to say VV2 Kobe's review. You can go check that video out. If you don't know what a card is, if I give reference to a video that I've already previously made, a card is going to pop up that I insert when I upload the video. And it's going to take you to a different video in case you have interest in watching that. If not, it's going to be at my end card. The end card is the last 20 seconds of a YouTube video. That's where you can, you know, see the side collective playlist that I put there as a suggestion. And then a previous video or a specific video that I choose. That'll be at the last 20 seconds of the video. So don't skip past the last 20 seconds of the video if you want to see that. But anyway, back to the VV2. So off rip, let's start with the, the, the soul. You have a sole that glows. It's an off-white, and the middle of the sole is, is a pure white, S-I-A, that's somewhere in America. And I think it's some dirt there because I did try these on before to see how it looks with the, the different sets of laces. So boom, I'm gonna get to the laces. Well, boom, the glow soles come all the way up into the upper part of the shoe, and then for the midsole, the glow sole always stretches also stretches that too. You have like a, a white trimming around the midsole. I like it, it's fire. Let's take it to the toe box. The glow sole also comes all the way into the tip of the front of the toe box. The toe box is surrounded by some type of nice filled leather. It's nice, nice feeling leather. You got like a mesh leather toe box. That's cool. It got mesh holes on it. The mesh holes go all the way, as you can see, up into the tongue. Fire, right? Then it comes with the strap. I always keep my strap on. Oh, I never noticed that. The orange leather from the inside of the shoe comes there. That's cool, y'all see that? That's leather. That's quality. Never noticed that. But ingrained on the toe box right here, like around the toe box, and then on the strap itself, it says VV2, 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 VV2. This looks more like the Nike Yeezy. The VV2 looks more like the Nike Yeezy than the VV1. Fire. Nice quality. He killed it. This is like a futuristic shoe. It's like a futuristic version of the VV1. You got the FBCC lace lock, and then you have these aglets. When you get these, it comes with these laces, right? These are gray wax laces. The aglets are not gonna be on there, nor the lace lock. When you receive yours, depending on how it was in there, the aglet should be in a clear bag like this, along with a screwdriver to put the screws in the aglet, and you just screw the aglet onto the shoestrings. It's not as complicated as it is. It's really easy and simple. Only most annoying part about it is fitting, like taking, not dropping the screw. So when you put these aglets in, when you screw these aglets onto the shoestrings, make sure you're on a nice table or surface, clear surface. So that way, if the, if the screw falls out while you're trying to screw it in, you can easily pinpoint where it's at. That's the best advice I can give when putting these aglets on. But at the back of the, the inside of the tongue, right there, you see you got like a violet pink, and that's leather. They got the shoe size right there. See size 10. Got like a peach orange for the in, for the uh, inside of the shoe. On the insole, you see this, the silver SIA logo in there that stands for somewhere in America. 
The insole is removable, by the way. On the pull tab, you got VV2. This is the VV2. And then at the back of the midsole, you got FBCC. Fire, straight fire in this, right? Cool. These are the alternate shoelaces that come with the shoe. You can put these in. I chose to keep my wax laces in because I like the wax laces better. These are the shoes that he advertised. These are the shoelaces that he that he advertised the shoe with on his Instagram. You can put these in there, put them through the lace lock and put the aglets on. Like I said before, the aglets and the lace locks are not gonna be on the shoe. You have to do that yourself. So now I'm gonna get into the detail review portion of, of it. When I just show the shoe from different angles, we are gonna take it outside to get the shoe to glow. And then I'll let you know my thoughts. This is just from the rain light alone. Oh my God. This is just from the rain light. All right, y'all, so we are outside. Get some of that natural lighting on it. Right now I'm in the shade because of how my building's positioned. Man, it's beautiful. Let's get closer to the sunlight. Yo, look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> when it comes to glow, these are it. Golly. Yeah, these are some glowers. I think the off-white bottoms glows way better than the black bottoms. Okay, so I have very thin socks on. So y'all can see, thin socks. I got the Xbox controller socks on. So, oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, with these shoes, before you put the aglet on them, you wanna make sure you lace them properly. Like really lace them because you won't really be able to tie the shoe once you put the aglets on. That. The aglets is, you know, supposed to show off the, the quality, the beauty of the shoe. The, the aglets is like a luxury accessory for the shoe. So I tied these nice. This shoe fits perfectly on my foot with the thin sock. 
I don't feel it sliding up or down on my my heels, even though they they have they, it has a loose fit the way I tied it to my personal preference. So, but they they don't they don't go up on my ankle. You know how shoes are too big and they'll go up on your ankle. These do not do that at all. So as far as comfortability, I give these a eight and a half out of ten. I'm a flat footed, so I'm a very flat footer. So. My my comfortability versus yours might be different. You might think this shoe comfortability is a 10 out of 10. But mine's is my scale of grading comfortability is way rare. I have like diagnosed bad feet problems. So me giving this a high eight and a half out of 10 says a lot. I'm a 10. These fit like a perfect 10. My toe is right there. So I have a little, you know, little, little wiggle room. I wouldn't wear a too thick, thick sock with this shoe. Like maybe thin to medium. But other than that, let's go ahead and get into the third person's point of view, the on foot portion. So y'all can see how it looks from a from, from someone else's perspective. Let's get it.